Hi, I'm Jimmy Phillips. I'm the System Director for Cardiopulmonary Services here at UNC Health Appalachian. One of the innovative things we have done in the past few years is start our lung nodule program. It's actually one of the few in the area uh, that is, has a dedicated lung nodule program and a de dedicated navigator. Uh, this just ensures um, for all of our patients that we serve in this area uh, that you can get um, quality, complete lung cancer care uh, without having to leave the mountain. It helps patients that have lung nodules that come through any of our facilities to be notified or to be noticed and notify us of those nodules so you're not actually skipped uh, or forgotten about. Um, currently, throughout the nation, about 71% of all patients that have lung nodules don't receive uh, adequate medical follow-up. Uh, one of the things that we put in place here is a artificial intelligence program. It's called Lung GPS, and that program basically, basically data mines all of our um, uh, electronic medical records for uh, keywords, key phrases uh, for someone that has a lung nodule and notifies my pulmonary navigator of that lung nodule so we can actually follow you. The, the lung nodule navigator um, will have follow-up with that patient, make sure they don't fall through the cracks, make sure uh, as that nodule continues to grow or gets smaller, hopefully, but if it does continue to grow, we can uh, get you in the right place uh, with our thoracic surgeon, uh, with our pulmonologist, whichever needs to be, to have that adequately diagnosed. One of the big things is when a patient has a lung nodule and it does turn into a lung cancer, uh, nationwide it's hard to get into for definitive lung cancer care. Uh, it can be upwards of two to three months, and our goal is to have less than 30 days from the time we diagnose that lung cancer to you get definitive care for that actual lung cancer itself. Um, so our, our program has been very, very successful. Uh, and, and notifying us of uh, potential patients that have these nodules and uh, creating what's called a stage shift uh, for lung cancer. Uh, lung cancers can be stage one through four. Stage three and four is, um, uh, they're non-surgical typically, chemotherapy, radiation, and stage one and two can be surgical candidates. So we try to create a stage shift with this program and, and notify uh, the patient, uh, get the diagnosis early, so that we can hopefully catch your lung cancer at an early stage and it can be a surgical uh, option and not just chemotherapy. Hey, my name is Wendy Williams. I'm the director for uh, imaging laboratory and pathology for UNC Health Appalachian. Um, some of the innovative things that we have done over the past year for imaging uh, is related to our breast health. We have added 3D mammography services at Can Memorial Hospital. Uh, in addition to that, we have upgraded our 3D unit at Watauga Medical Center and have added uh, Hologic Genius software. Uh, this is uh, AI-assisted software that allows the radiologist to be able to identify and diagnose cancers uh, within the breast faster and more accurately. We're so proud to be able to bring all of these advances over the past year, especially the Hologic AI software, as we are the only ones in the entire Western North Carolina region with this software um, and advanced capabilities uh, in hopes that we're able to continue to uh, provide high quality women's health uh, to the high country.